Good morning. I found my joy in art again. I've been doing art since 2008. And um, at first I, I started with using my hands and lots of paint and just playing and creating beautiful things by just different techniques and stuff. And then I became more and more reserved, call it that. I started to learn things and it just put me off in a bondage. I don't know. And I lost my joy really doing it. And I lost my joy teaching and doing the workshop because I was just bored. And then I found this man, Bob Blast. I'll put his link down below. And he's exactly doing my kind of stuff. I even went and bought a color wheel. And I took it back. Because I hate mixing colors. I don't want to mix colors. I just want to grab it out of these things and just play. So and that's what he does. And I am loving it. So today I am busy with drip trees. And I'm just quickly going to show you. If you really want to know how to do it, just go to his um, YouTube channel. But I'm just going to share my joy with you. And I'm just realizing as I was thinking about this. You know, we grow older and the sad thing is we lose our joy. We lose doing things that brings up, brings out our joy. So we got to find those things again. And yes, it was great learning new things and trying new techniques and stuff. But I lost my joy and I didn't know how to get it back. And then all of a sudden I found this teacher and artist on YouTube and I am just loving it. And yesterday I was playing and just look at my trees. These are just really just, I was just practicing and just going crazy i lost one of my t-shirts in the process because i didn't wear my apron my little workspace is actually a little bit small for these messes because this is crazy this is another technique i'm not going to show that today where you can do trees, but I also tried that. And um, these are some of the canvases that I bought at charity shops for next to nothing. So these are the first layers. I think I've got about four layers of paint on. So this is how you start. And this is really just a canvas that I put underneath. When I drip, so then I catch it onto this canvas. But look, isn't this absolutely gorgeous? I mean, this is when paint, paint, the, paint, paint themselves. I mean, this is crazy. And then what I always realize is I am now going to use what I've learned into these things. So I got some sea sand on my walk to the beach and I threw some sea sand onto this because you can, that is what you can see there because you can just imagine when I start to work on the last layers with the sea sand. So yes, I am incorporating what I've learned during the last 20 years with this new way of painting so he's so funny so he said a big bucket of water because believe you me these little things i need to run and get clean water every two minutes so that's not working so i've got my big bucket today then we've got these things 
and the awesome thing is i was actually preparing this for something else but i just want to show you quickly how we do it so you just put any color this is the background look how beautiful so i just put it was an old canvas second hand repurposed canvas so i just cover it with this so now what you do is you take some colors you don't think this is the time to mess he, sh he says this you just mess so there i've put a blob of blue there's a blob of yellow i'm gonna get i'm not gonna think this is a brown kind of thing burnt sienna then i've got my black i'm just going to have a little bit of black there too so you just put it somewhere mine is just on this thing on my plastic so then you take a huge um, this is actually too small but i bought this new because i really don't have large things so you wet it you wet it then you put it into your paint and then you really with very wet paint just dab things on there's the brown and there's my yellow green i'm going for the green i'm going for my blues add that in add some green in so this is the first layer then you really splatter it and then you let it there it goes there's your trees elk, elk. joyful is isn't is, this is just so joyful so this is just your first layer then you let this dry and then this is what i did this is about four layers of this so now you take other colors next and what I didn't do actually, I should have had white as well, because then you can imagine, but put it into your next colors. So that's, I forgot to put my other one underneath. So there's the dripping. So this is how you create drip trees. I mean, really? <laughs> and this is art. Let me show you. I haven't gone further with my trees. Now this is going to dry. As I say, it's really just gorgeous if you look at it. Look there, it's trees. So I'm letting it dry. Then he says, let me take this large one. You will see it better. But you know what? I actually... No, this is also me. I'm now busy, but I don't want to lose this paint. So I am just splashing and putting on my tree some more colors. And because I and just drip and make splashes let them drip let them settle let them paint themselves let me take put a little bit of white there that's why i said <laughs> this is actually very messy so there's my white now and i'm just gonna add this onto here so now you get your grays you splatter it in, it becomes something else, and you just, whoops, let it dry, and you just, this is not drip trees, so I'm not going to let it drip too much, but still, it gives them the most beautiful colors and textures. So now for this, so what do I have to do now to just get the little trunks more beautiful? So you take a paintbrush like this, 
Then I have my white there. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Or I also like this orange. So I'm going to add a little bit of orange because I don't want to take away my orange background. I love it. But I just want to work on it a little bit more. So just to make the stems more prominent. I actually think with this one, I like my tree. So I'm not going to go for more there. So now you just lots of water. And then you just go in there and between. You see how I am just now going in there for my trees. I hope you can see. So you just there some you just change them a little bit. If you don't like it, you just go back. So I am just be like a child and just enjoying this. I'm not thinking. I'm making trees. I take away everything that doesn't look like my tree. You see there's some different color coming out. I added more white and now I'm just... Taking everything out that's not the trees. These are like lollipop trees. So this is it. This is how you paint a tree. Look at that. Look at how it becomes lighter. So you just keep going until you are satisfied. But the moral of this story is even though we are 60 70 80 100 years what does that matter we've lost our joy and we got to find things that brings back our joy because what's life about why do we live if we just struggle and everything is doom and gloom and every everything is hard it's our responsibility to find joy. It's my responsibility to find my own joy. Nobody's going to give it to me or come. I need to look for things that brings out the joy in me. And this is one of it. I mean, just look at this. So whatever it is for you, find it. Do lots of different things. It's scary in the beginning, but do them and then you'll see what brings you joy. And do more of that. That's we, how we create a joyful life. And as I've said, the whole reason for this channel and my Facebook pages and everything is I'm urging all of you and all my friends to find joy again love you lots thank you that i can share my lollipop trees with you well when it's done i'll put it on my facebook page also zetster's lab or is it van der merwe they're all in the links here and this is it all you need are a couple of paints and there you go Create beautiful lollipop trees. Love you lots. Have fun. Find your joy and splash it and just go wild. Because really we need it. We need it desperately to live victoriously. <sighs> Love you.